Hello the internet. It is Monday the 4th of February 2019. I'm down here in an undisclosed location, one of my favorite places. You've seen it before on the vlog. I love coming down here. I've got a fresh shave. Now what would that tell you? Put it together. The fresh shave will tell you I'm about to review a full face snorkel mask. What have I got here with me today? The Platinum Arowana. I see it's in a trusty Ziploc bag and I get a lot, a lot of flack for ripping these open. Apparently you can reuse Ziploc bags and even more apparently, I should reuse Ziploc bags even if I'm not going to. I get flack in the comments section saying, you should open that Ziploc bag correctly. And I reply with, well, if I'm never gonna use the Ziploc bag again, why do I have to open it correctly? Why can't I just tear it open? Now, well, the environment. Here's the thing. It's already been made. I'm not gonna use it more than I am right now, so why do I have to unzip it? Why can't I just go... Does that hurt you? Does that hurt? I know that hurts to watch. Deal with it. Man, it's beautiful down here. Here we have the Platinum Arowana. The Arowana is the most expensive fish on the planet. Now you've seen this fish, it's a beautiful fish. I've been talking with the manufacturers of this mask and they named it the Arowana because they want you to know that this mask is something different. This sits out of the pack, stands above the pack, and they've put a lot of care and a lot of effort into making this something special. Now I could waffle on and on and on about it, or I could open the sucker and show it to you. It's got a funky little zip there on the front of the bag. I guess that's pretty cool. You could slide notes, coins, and various small artifacts inside that zip. It's got a thank you for buying card with a lot of information on the back there, which we will read. Not right now though. Got your GoPro mount, spare one-way valves, user manual. Oh, this looks nice, doesn't it? Big user manual. All the alerts, there's no trick to this. Just a simple slide on and probably click in. Let's bring you up here. So that's just a simple slide together trick. Now, how am I gonna do this? I'm gonna put you down here. We're gonna slide that on, make it, I'm sure it's got a click, right? Here we go. Got to hear a click. Not hearing a click. That's not clicking. Did you see that? It didn't click. I should hear a click on there, I'd say. Oh, that's not clicking. Maybe this doesn't click. There's one thing I can see wrong with this mask. That doesn't really join together so well, but it is there. It's connected. I just feel like it's not connected exactly how it should be. There is plastic on there. Maybe I'm gonna take that off first. All right, you saw it. There's the plastic. I'll try it again. Now it's on, but it never did make a click. So there's a little trick. No need for the click. Oh, I dropped the plastic. Hang on. Get out of the ocean. You do not go in the ocean. I will store you somewhere safe until we get back over to dry land and it's gonna be in here. So I've got a small and a medium here. This guy will remain unopened. In an ideal world, I was looking for someone on this stretch of coast to help me with this review and give them this mask, but I haven't seen anybody. I've got to put it up in my mouth. You know the Norwegians use snus, tobacco, and they shove it up there? Do that with this. There's snus, plastic snus. There's too much snus up there. <laughs> right, hang on, I'm gonna put this down, hang on. First thing you can, you can really feel with this mask, it does feel high quality. I said before how they've chosen the name Arowana. Well, you can actually feel this thing. <sighs> this does feel, how can I do it one-handed? Hang on, I'm gonna put you back down here. This silicon and this plastic this just does feel really really high quality it feels schmick it feels like what it's selling is it's selling as platinum arowana and it definitely has that vibe to it a lot of masks make this claim the platinum arowana is no different the manufacturer has told me that this mask has the clearest and widest view of all the full face snorkel masks they told me they tested eight of the top branded full face snorkel masks and made changes to their design to get theirs over the top in wideness, clarity, and vision. You're looking at a mask here that is claiming it's the best on the market, so I will find that out when I get into the water. Hopefully the sun comes back out. Yeah, there's a bit of blue sky up there. A massive thing with these full face snorkel masks is the feeling of I don't want to use the word choking, but that's the kind of vibe you get when you use these. It feels like your breathing is labored and it's more difficult to breathe and therefore you don't feel really, really comfortable in the water. Platinum Arowana have told me they've somehow reduced that vibe. So that doesn't happen with this mask. Again, we will only be able to tell when we get in that water and that sun has come out. Man, this is a beautiful day right now. 
I want to hurry up and get in there. Platinum Arowana are calling that their easy breath system. I like to breathe, I like to breathe easily, and I like a system. The easy breathe system could work hand in hand with me. Now I've been told that they've somehow strengthened these straps. So then when you put the mask on and you pull those strips tight, it actually seals your face perfectly. Again, this is a claim from the manufacturer. We can't understand that until we test it. And we can only test it when we get in the water, but that's what they're telling me. They've strengthened those strips and they've made that seal around your face perfect. Big claim from Platinum Arowana. You've got a GoPro mount on here which you can detach and reattach at your own leisure. These things, I'm not a fan of them. Platinum Arowana told me that they did a bit of research and they found that of the front mounted GoPro mounts, this position was the most favorable. So that's why they've left it there. Me, I'm gonna take it off. Platinum Arowana told me they did not want to put a hinge on this. They wanted it a separate piece. Click this out. They did not want this to be a hinged version. They had a lot of complaints from customers that they were feeling it on their forehead, right at that point of their forehead. When that hinge folds down, they were getting pain. So that's why they've made their unit a two-piece unit, separated. Can I get a click here? Can I get a click? It, oh, there was a click! All right, that clicked. Anti-fog. That is the big question on everyone's lips with these masks, anti-fog. Especially here in Australia when the waters are warm, the outside temperature's warm. I've been told that this mask, when done correctly, now I'm not sure what that exactly refers to, but when done correctly, this mask will not fog up. Of course, we can only test that by testing it. So how about we take these stickers off the front and we get in there for a snorkel, porkle, dorkle. These are your straps that you pull once it's over your noggin. At this point, they should be at that level. They haven't been pulled tight at all. Slide this sucker over your head. And then you grab this sucker, and you grab this sucker. And once you're confident that that's nice and tight, you breathe in. And it's right about then when you should be feeling, do I feel comfortable? Do I feel confident in my breathing? Do I feel like I can breathe in and out without restraint? Is everything feeling good? And if you answered yes, you can go snorkeling! Okay, well as you can see, there is some fogging going on there. Not 100% certain why that's happening. I'll just move in a little bit where I can stand, but I don't want to stand on that stingray. I've had my stingray sting for my 43 years, I'm not getting another one. Let me just put this back on and make sure he's not around. That's some fogging going on there. The vision does look good. So if you can somehow, I mean, in the manual, it says no need to use any anti-fog product. Maybe if you did use some, say, Dr. Film, perhaps you would have a fully fog-free experience. I'm gonna keep going with it and try some more, but for the time being, it's fogged up. Just trying to be as honest as possible. The feeling on your face around here, it's a really nice, snug fit. All that can kind of disappear if the fog happens, you know, in my mind. Your experience may differ. Let's take it for a second smash. I gave this a real good go, and as you can see, even from now, 
it's quite badly fogged up. The conditions here are perfect. Temperature wise, the sky, as you can see, the sun never came back. Temperature of the outdoor is probably around about 24 degrees, 25 degrees Celsius. The water must be about <laughs> maybe 22 degrees Celsius. I'm not 100% certain why that fogged up that badly. These masks that do this full 180 view, it's, you have to kind of train your eyesight. It's kind of hard to explain. When you look at it, outside the water, just through the mask like that, not in the water, it looks perfect. But the second you put it in the water, your eyes kind of have to go. And once you've done that sort of weird, I kind of think of it like looking for, um, you know those, ma those ma not mazes, those puzzles that you stared at long enough and you'd see like a dolphin or a sunset or something in, in a whole bunch of pixels. It's kind of like that. You've got to train your eyes to do something a bit strange. But once you've locked onto it, then your vision's fine. Hello birds. But until then, the vision is a little bit sort of out of whack. So there's a heads up there that if you are looking for one of these full 180 view masks, you are going to have to sort of swap out your eyesight thought pattern somewhat. It's very hard to explain. Once you've done that, it's fine. And then if it doesn't fog up, like unfortunately this, this did fog up, but if it doesn't fog up, you do get a really nice perspective. If you do want to pick up a platinum arowana full face snorkel mask, there's a link in the description of this video. That's an affiliate link through Amazon and you'll be helping me if you do that. And if you want to ask any other questions about full face snorkel masks, I am always here to answer. Put your questions in the comments section and I'll do the damn best I can to answer those questions. One question that gets asked an awful lot. No, you cannot breathe underwater in this full face snorkel mask or any other full face snorkel mask. The only thing you can breathe underwater with is a scuba tank. And speaking of scuba, a gentleman just turned up with a scuba set he wants to take me out past that island over there there's massive big black stingrays and he said let's go and have a look at them so let's go and do that right now oh that's um we're out of time i know i know I keep running out of time on my own vlog. I probably should get that checked out, right? Hey, if you like what you've seen here on this channel and you want to become a giver and you want to contribute maybe financially, the description field of this video has plenty of ways to do that. And if you want to be a giver on any other level, please consider subscribing or watching my previous vlog or a random vlog, or you could even become a Patreon of mine right here. What's that? Yeah, yeah, we've got a bit of time. Yeah, I've got more time, can't believe it. Let's just chill out here while we got time. You got time? I got time. We've all got time. <laughs>